Let me leave you a plea within the beat, a soul laid bare, vulnerability so sweet. In the rhythm of the streets, his emotions weave a tapestry of longing, a lyrical reprieve. What's up everyone and Happy New Year. I hope 2024 is a fruitful year for everyone watching this and a terrible year for those that aren't. Anyways, as the title suggests, in this episode we're going to figure out if AI has gotten better at writing poetry since ChatGPT 1.0 was first launched. I've put Chat 1.0 up against 3.5 and we're going to see whether these updates are improving the artificial intelligence's ability to create poetry. Both versions of the AI were given the exact same prompt which you can see on your screen now. This prompt was given, copied and pasted to both AIs to see what they would spit out. This is what ChatGPT 1.0 came back with. Nothing excites me like the rhythm of the streets, where Vendetta spits fire with Iranian heat. In Melbourne City, he's a force to be reckoned, his rhymes so sharp they leave the haters beckoned. Fuck you to the doubters who said he couldn't make it, Vendetta's flow is magic and his beats are energetic. Let me leave you in the dust as he rises to the top. His talent knows no bounds and the game is non-stop. Magic castle his mind where the rhymes are made. Vendetta's the king, the crown is his to take. From Iran to Melbourne, his journey has been long, but the crown is his and the rap gang he belongs. With every verse, he paints a picture so vivid, his words a reflection of his culture, and he's witted. Vendetta's talent knows no bounds, he's here to stay. With each verse, he'll make his mark, and the world he'll sway. Now that wasn't so bad. There was a few bits in there that it sort of rinsed and repeated itself and you know overall is fairly basic but I mean shit it was it was a poem it rhymed it even used some slang in it I guess it, it literally said wit it like w-i-t yeah I don't know so at least it understands slang that's from 1.0 and here is what chat gpt 3.5 responded with. In Melbourne's urban heartbeat where cultures entwine emerges a rapper from Iran, a poet divine. Vendetta is his name in the city's rap scene with verses that resonate powerful and keen. Nothing excites me echoes in the city air as Vendetta paints a, as Vendetta paints tales of struggle and despair. Yet within his rhymes resilience is the key, a journey of triumph and anthem of the free. Fuck you, he declares to those who doubted the dream, a defined anthem, a shout in the rap regime. His words are his armor, his verse is cutting through, vendetta rises, bold and true. Let me leave you a plea within the beat, a soul laid bare, vulnerability so sweet. In the rhythm of the streets, his emotions weave, a tapestry of longing, a lyrical reprieve. Through the alleyways of Melbourne, where dreams collide, Vendetta navigates in the city's rap tide. Magic Castle stands tall, a fortress in the night, a sanctuary in verses where emotions take flight. In the pulse of the city, where cultures align, Vendetta's rhymes echo a narrative so fine. From Iran to Melbourne, a journey unfold, unfurls, a rapper's odyssey and a world of rhymes and swirls. It's clear to tell that the vocabulary used in the poetry has gotten significantly better since 1.0. However, it is interesting to point that both models still started each, I guess, paragraph or verse with the topics that I gave it. With the exception of Magic Castle, most of them, you know, did the little double entendre or reference right at the start rather than trying to in intertwine it into the poem, you know. So it'll be interesting if, you know, later alterations of GPT can actually improve on that and make it a little more fluid and less rigidly structured. I think it goes without saying that I much prefer the poem written by ChatGPT 3.5. The first one was sort of, you know, written with like a kid's vocabulary. I'm sure a child could probably come up with a poem like that, but the second poem on ChatGPT 3.5 was actually much more intricate. Still wasn't anything absolutely crazy, but it was much better than the first one. 
That's all for this episode. Let me know in the comments below which poem you liked better and which direction you see this AI taking when it comes to poetry. I'll see y'all next week. Peace out. We marching, we mobbing, won't rest the week.